Hello to you newcomers and welcome back, my lovely subscribers. This is the Galactic Armory and I am still the big baby. Today I'm very excited to show you guys one of my favorite new toys. I just happened to get another 3D printer. This printer though is a little bit different from the others. It is an LED printer or an LCD or some of you guys might know it as an SLA. They're basically the same thing, they just use a different type of laser. What this printer can do is turn a liquid resin into something solid. It does that by using a very high powered laser to rapidly cure the liquid resin and a whole bunch of science stuff happens behind the scenes. And what you're left with is some very, very detailed prints. The size on the prints is a bit limited uh, this Star Destroyer here is one of my one of my favorite prints so far. This is about as long as it can get. I got the Elegoo Mars resin printer and so far I absolutely love it. I mean the CR10s have been great for me but this is a whole new level of precision and quality that my old printers just aren't really capable of. That being said, there is a lot more post work that goes into all the prints. You need to, first you need to wash them off in like a 99% alcohol mixture to get off all the extra resin. Secondly, you need to cure it, or finish curing it in a, like a UV tub. To do that, I just got a strip of UV lights and taped them on the inside of a protein shake container and then threw on a nice little Galactic Armory sticker on the, on the lid. Then after 10 or 15 minutes in there, they are fully cured and are ready for display. So I figured in this video, I'd show you guys a closer look at some of the prints that this thing is capable of and basically give my first impressions on the printer if you guys are thinking about buying one yourselves. First, let's look at the clones because these are two of my favorite bust files that I have. Now I printed these on my FDM CR10 printer uh, like a couple years ago, but I could never, I was never really happy with the detail on it. They had some weird things going on with the face and uh, yeah, they didn't turn out like I'd hoped. So I've been sitting on these files for quite some time, but after I got the Elegoo Mars, I thought that I was ready to try them again. Since they were pretty small, had some very fine details that my FDM printers struggled with. As you can see, some of the details on this thing is just incredible. I, you have to look very, very closely to see the printer lines. They're like 0 0.05 of a millimeter, so one factor of magnitude less than a millimeter. I think it's like a nanometer or something. Micrometer? I don't know. But yeah, these things look injection molded. They have all the nice little details. You can see the texture on the uh, undersuit of the clone. It looks just incredible. The details in the helmet are outstanding. And yeah, it just looks absolutely incredible. These are going to be <laughs> some of my favorites for a very long time. They're gonna be, I'll probably take them to work with me and set them up on my shelf. Start a little collection. Now let's take a look at the ships. I'm kind of in a ship uh, phase, if you want to call it that. The busts are beautiful, but there's not much variety. You know, I have the phase one and phase two clone, but that's about it for Clone Wars stuff. For the ships, uh, there's a lot of different options. What I wanted to do was print off a Star Destroyer and then see how that compared to some of the Clone Wars era stuff. So I printed the Star Destroyer at the maximum length it could go. I think it, they also hold up pretty well too. I think in Canon, Star Destroyers are 1600 meters long. So using that data and finding out how long the Venator class Star Destroyer is, I could figure out a ratio between the two. Then I just had to scale down the, the Venator and what we're left with is a nice little comparison at just how freaking big the Star Destroyers are. You know, the Empire, 
they definitely went with the mantra bigger is better because wow the size comparison is nuts now i am going to start selling some of these prints in my shop on etsy as well as on galacticarmory.net with the 10 percent discount of course and free shipping on both of them i figured i'd do like a, a scaled version but then just a maximum build volume that i can do so like the star destroyer size but with the venator here we've also got the acclimator little cruisers they are a little bit smaller than the uh the venators and a great deal smaller than uh, the star destroyers and down here the last little thing uh, i'm gonna slaughter the pronunciation of this but the articans light class cruiser i think it uh yeah it's smaller than the width of my finger in scale to the uh to the star destroyer the thing absolutely dwarfs this ship but you know it still has a lot of the nice little details that you can pick out i think you can see the engines quite nicely and some of the, the details on the top of the ship it looks really nice and it's a fun little comparison to some of the other ships you know the star destroyer being the huge one and little light cruiser down here it just i don't know i like seeing variety in the ships so if you guys know of any ships that you want to see me print be sure and leave them in the comments and i'll probably do them because like i said this is a lot of fun and i'm going to try and print all of them in this in this scaled down version but also you know maximum so you can actually hold it in your hand and it's not like pea sized i also thought it would be fun to uh so we've got the star destroyer here what about say vader's super star destroyer compared to this guy i wouldn't be able to do it on the elegoo mars just because the scale would be huge and I've, I haven't tried piecing anything together from prints of that, but I don't think it would work too well. But I could use my CR tents to print an absolutely massive model of, I think it's called the Eclipse. No, that's the Palpatines. Whatever Vader's Super Star Destroyer is called, then we can compare that to a regular Star Destroyer. From there, I don't know if it would work, but I'd love to print a, a Death Star to scale of that. That would be huge, absolutely like the size of this table, uh, even bigger maybe. And that's just Death Star 1. Death Star 2 is like so much bigger than that. It's crazy scale. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. If you have any other like finely detailed Star Wars print requests, for me i would love to see them because uh yeah i'm having so much fun with this new printer the details you can get from it are absolutely incredible and i want to make everything right now it's really fun i had this feeling when i first got when i got my first 3d printer i wanted to print everything but oh you know over time you sort of get callous to the effects you lose that star in your eyes but now with the new technology i am you know a kid printing star wars toys again so if you guys have any ideas i'd be happy to hear them and most likely print them so that's about it for this video guys it's kind of unstructured but i just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the new things that you'll be seeing as well as some of the new things that i can make for you guys so i feel like i've said this so many times already but if there's something you want to see made leave it in the comments again just check out the stores on galacticarmory.net my new website and Etsy that's been around forever. I've even got some new merch available on my uh, on galacticarmory.net. I, I really love the design that I had made for me so I'm trying to put it on everything because <laughs> uh, I, I just think it looks great. So as always thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again in the next video.